Moisture content is the amount of water present in a moist sample. There are a couple of ways that we can express moisture content. One is moisture content wet basis. This is the amount of water per unit mass of moist or wet sample. Mathematically, moisture content wet basis, we will use uh, WB uh, in the uh, subscript, equals mass of water in the sample divided by mass of the moist sample itself. This is one of the most common ways that moisture content of a material is expressed. Another way to express moisture content is on dry basis. In this case, it is the amount of water per unit mass of dry solids present in the sample. By dry solids, we mean bone dry. In other words, there is no water present in those solids. So again, mathematically, we can express moisture content dB, we will use subscript dB for dry basis, equals mass of water divided by mass of dry solids. So looking at these two equations, note that the numerator is the same, but the denominator is different. In case of wet basis, it is the mass of moist sample. In case of dry basis, it's the mass of dry solids that are present in that material. So let's look at the relationship between moisture content wet basis and moisture content dry basis. So again, moisture content wet basis equals mass of water divided by mass of moist sample. Now we can leave the numerator as it is, mass of water, but in the denominator, since the mass of moist sample is the mass of water plus the mass of dry solids. So if we now divide the numerator and the denominator by mass of dry solids, then moisture content wet basis will equal mass of water divided by mass of dry solids for the numerator. And in the denominator, it'll be mass of water divided by mass of dry solids plus, and note that the mass of dry solids divided by mass of dry solids will cancel out, so we'll be left with one. So moisture content wet basis equals moisture content dry basis divided by moisture content dry basis plus one. Similarly, you can express moisture content dry basis as moisture content wet basis divided by one minus moisture content wet basis. So if we know moisture content wet basis, we can use this equation to find out the moisture content dry basis. Similarly, if you know moisture content dry basis, you can find out the moisture content wet basis. Note that in both these equations, moisture content is expressed in fraction. So if we have 60% moisture, uh, we mean 0 0.6. That is 60 over 100. That gives us the fraction. Let's look at a couple of examples. So let's say that you are given the moisture content in wet basis as 80%. That means in fraction, it'll be 80 over 100 or 0 0.8. So if we want to find out moisture content dry basis, we will use one of these equations we just developed. So moisture content dry basis equals 0 0.8, which is the moisture content wet basis, divided by 1 minus 0 0.8. So we have 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.2, and that gives us 4. Remember, this is a fraction. So moisture content dry basis is 4 times 100, or 400%. Now, sometimes it looks kind of odd that the moisture content is more than 100%. But note that this is dry basis. The dry basis values can be above 100% whereas the wet basis moisture content is always between 0 and 100. What this 400% means is that the amount of water present is four times the amount of dry solids present in that sample. Let's uh, look at another conversion. 
Let's say the moisture content dry basis is 0.6 or 60% and we want to find out moisture content wet basis. So again using the equation we developed, we have moisture content wet basis equals 0.6 in the numerator and divided by 0.6 plus 1. That gives us 0.6 divided by 1.6 and that equals 0. 0.375. That means moisture content wet basis is 0 0.375 times 100 which will give us 37.5 percent. So moisture content dry basis of 60 percent will equal moisture content wet basis of 37.5 percent. These two equations are very useful in converting moisture content from one basis to another.